Good afternoon. So I'm teacher Anna and I will be your writing teacher for today. So our topic for today is the writing process. Now teacher, what is the writing process? This is what we use so that it will be more easy for you to express your feelings, thoughts, and emotion in writing. Now, when we say the writing process, it means process, right? Meaning, it is a step-by-step -step way to write. It is, it is a step-by-step -step way to write. And why do we use it? We use it to be more organized. Okay. To be more organized with our thoughts when we are writing. Now, picture, how can I memorize this? How can I, how can I familiarize myself with this? Okay. We have, we have something that uh, we have a word that we use, so we will uh, remember it easily. Now, the word is this. What is this? Yes, power. Okay, the meaning of power is first, let's start with P. First, it's planning. Did you hear what is planning? Planning is brainstorming. This is the part where you will, where you will think of your ideas. And then when you're going to think of your ideas, you will use a web map. Now, teacher, what is a web map? A web map is this. You will use any shape that you like and put your topic here. And then put like seven to eight here, seven to eight lines. And then put anything that comes into your mind. That when it comes, for example, English, hard, international language, etc. Now, so... That is how it is planning. So I will just give you an introduction first. Okay. Now the next one, O. O is organizing. Okay. With organizing, you will just you will just group group your words that you use here, group the vocabularies that you use here with a chart. Now, for example, these are in the positive. These are in the negative. This is additional. Like for example, we have useful here. So we will put useful in the positive. We will put hard in the negative. And then we will put international language in the additional. Okay? You understand planning. Okay, very good. You understand organizing. Okay, very good. It is grouping. Now, the next one. What do you think is W? Yes, W is? Writing. Okay. When this in this step, you will write. You will write your first draft. Okay. When writing your first draft, it will be okay. It will be okay for you to have some mistakes. Like for example, okay, for example, we will write. So we will write the title first. After the title, we will write topic sentence. Okay, I will explain topic sentence in the near future. And then next are the supporting details. I will explain them further next time. Now, so just remember, this is when you will write anything that you want about your topic, and then you can use all of the vocabularies that you organize here. In here, in your organization, you will have like, for example, this one is your first paragraph, this one is your second paragraph, and then this one is your third paragraph. Do you understand? Yes, okay, very good. Now, picture what is E? E stands for editing. Now, editing has categories. We have four categories. Okay, first one is grammar. We will check your grammar. Second one is the content. We will check if everything that you wrote is related to your topic. And then next one, we have organization. So, organization, it will be easy because you have already organized your thoughts. And then after this is the vocabulary. Here we will. This is the part where you will change so the some of the some of the words so they will fit what you really mean. Okay. No questions. All right. No questions. So the last one. The last one is revising. Revising. This is the part where you will just rewrite everything. Rewrite everything. With corrections, corrections that you made, corrections that you made 
in the editing part. So after rewriting, it's okay to go back to editing. Or for example, you finish ed editing and then we will go back to revising. So that is the part where you can have like many drafts. The first draft, second draft, third draft, until you are satisfied with your final draft. Okay, do you understand the writing process? Okay, very good. So I will have I will give you a topic. So your topic will be about bullying. And then I will want you to use the writing process so that you can have an organized an organized essay. Okay? So okay, so um, thank you and have a nice day.